So, hey guys, Chelsea here. And yeah, this is my final tap, level 5 Luffy Crew Showcase. And yeah, there's going to be a lot more of that going forward because this is just so absolutely absurd to use. And as you see in these videos, it just helps a lot in various ways. Like my favorite way of using it is to let Verse Legends beat content. Like you see this team, this team shall not be able to beat uh, Arena Luffy. But as you'll see, it will actually happen. Uh, what I like the most about this team is that is how it handles the final stage. Because, as you'll see, we do not remove the special bind. We do not reduce the CD that gets reversed. But we'll still be able to remove 6 turns of paralysis, 3 turns of despair, and get enough uh, stat attack boosts and damaging boosts to defeat the enemy. But yeah, we three Ray League, and yeah, he will let me handle this stage easily since we'll just be able to go through the barrier. First, we'll stall out the, the spear. So, yeah, double Wither Ray League makes it a lot easier to get matching slots, so it's very low chance to get bad RNG here. And yeah, we don't need ma matching slots to kill anyway, and Luffy Crew is a certain one. Uh, this turn is pretty tough since we need to do maximum damage here, because otherwise we won't have enough damage to kill this Zoro in two turns. And they use the combination of Bon Clay and Bullet. Bon Clay gives us resilience so we survive and removes the positive buffs. Bullet uh, removes the block orbs with Buena Festa support and also gives us two turns of end of turn damage, which will let us go through the resilience. So, yeah, that's a very good combo for this, and we do just enough damage so that uh, the other We True Lay League special will let us kill this turn. Shank support just to avoid orb RNG. Yeah, easy to hit KO. And bullet end of turn kills. So yeah, this is, this will be absolutely absurd to be prepared for this ride. We only have two specials left, which is Pudding and Liver Crew. I have the uh, support kid on Bon Clay. And this is just so that Pudding has, a, has something she can copy. This lets Pudding use her special twice. She removes two turns of par paralysis with the support chief on, and two, three turns of despair with her special. Then we swap Luffy Crew. Super swap removes the remaining paralysis. We use the special to get the attack, or boost, color affinity boost, and chain boost. And yeah, we're ready now and we're going to burst. But as you'll see, it's not like we'll be doing a ton of damage. Ray League is just a 4 times captain. But... Yeah, that doesn't matter because we have Luffy Crew at level 5. You don't think this will kill, right? But... It shall. 3 million damage overkill. 53 million damage. So yeah. <laughs> Expect a lot of stuff like that going forward. Uh, next is a Mihawk team. And I'm using Wee Wan Shanks captain. I've seen it done before against this arena. But... Usually with the versus Shanks as friend captain. Uh, this is a bit of a different take. Uh, this team is showcasing quite a few things. We're actually going to be using Luffy Crew's Super Swap again. This time to remove Shipbind. And now I'm sure that there's a few people who become like question marks over their heads like Shipbind. There's no Shipbind here. But there is actually because I'm going to be using a very unconventional and dumb strat. Just because I can, and because, yeah, it shouldn't be so easily countered like this. But yeah, uh, the first four stages are pretty normal. Uh, if you wonder who the Lafitte is, this is tra the trash map rare recruit Lafitte. He's actually very good for this content. But there's quite a few good uh, bind and attack down reducers. There's some despair in this content as well, which is which Roger resists. But obviously when I use Roger, I only have one thing in mind, and it's the uh, resisting 
the hockey mechanic like removing buffs that's why we're using roger because we will trigger an interrupt final stage and we want to stop that use roger super type here since it's not needed later and yeah when you look at this team you might think that the damage final stage will be rough but in reality this team is a huge overkill team might look surprising but it's the truth at least with level 5 blue free crew final tap if it was level 1 this team will not work that's just how stupid this final tap is and yeah doffy stage we're going to one turn this stage we'll be using all the size specials here uh, Lafitte to remove attack down and bind some color affinity too roger for attack boost shanks just to get a full board of psi orbs and this will let me break the barrier and yeah very easy and yeah final stage this is where the magic happens see a common strat against mihawk is to use something like support uh, legend army to set defense to zero such because Miyok doesn't let you set defense to zero with specials he will clear your buffs then but that's what Magellan does here he sets defense to zero removes the other defensive effects so Miyok removes buffs but Roger stops this so he can't remove his own death down but he does give us ship bind and 10 turns of special bind but Luffy Crew Super Swap says I don't care about ship bind Luffy Crew Special says, I don't care about Special Bind, so we just completely ignore everything Mihawk did there. And yeah, we're just going to burst now. And yeah, actually this did a lot more damage than I expected before hitting Luffy Crew. But yeah, as you already know, that will be a big overkill. We actually do our 80 million damage, that's over 20 million damage overkill. That's not something you'd <laughs> expect when looking at the team. Finally, I have a fully free-to-play team here against Arena San Juan Wolf. And my goal with this team was make a free-to-play team that absolutely destroys San Juan Wolf. Like this team is like it's so stupid. Like the damage it does, like it probably does more damage than almost any team made on the this arena's release. It's quite insane. But yeah, even if it's a free-to-play team, it's not an accessible team. Like, Wasco Shot is perfect for this arena, but he's not available anymore. He has the interlocking support on him that's not available either, even if that's not that necessary. But yeah, this is just a showcase anyway. Just to show like how stupid this lighting can be as captain. And regarding Luffy Crew as captain, I'll probably make a video about it tomorrow. Because I want to talk a bit about that. That I I've already talked about it a bit, but I want to go a bit more in depth, like how double loop Luffy Crew is like amazing against anything. Especially at least if you have one on level five. Because I read a lot of talk about Luffy Crew, like he's only good as friend captain and stuff like that, and I think it's very weird. Like he's amazing no matter how you use it, sure. You might be limited in units, but there's so many great units now, and he makes everything rainbow, so. And he's special does like all buffs themselves, too, so. But yeah, I did the Luffy Crew combo using both the same turn. This sets me off for two turns, and I can just ignore any orb manip. I don't need any more damage. I just need to remove debuffs, which Washko's shot does. Lock the orbs with the Kustar support, and yeah, just kill. So yeah, this arena final boss has 100 million HP, which is the highest arena boss HP so far. 
But yeah, we're going to do way more than that. First we stall a turn to wait out the CD. Now we're going to be using the int raid Kaido as well as the 5 plus Big Maw. This gives us attack boost or boost. Rainbow boost because Luffy Crew Captain. We also remove the damage reduction on Sanji and Wolf. Then the next turn we use Shanks and Backman. 3 times attack boost, color affinity, 3 times chain lock, rainbow orb, so can't be removed. And yeah, I burst. See, I guess the damage. The damage will end up at. 223 million. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.